But we're also very focused on, on building technology to shape the next generation of computing, to make it more human, uh, more designed around uh, the ways that we all naturally interact with each other, and, and now also more aligned uh, with this privacy-focused vision for the future. So I think that, that augmented and virtual reality have the potential to create much more personal and intimate experiences. And with VR, uh, you feel like you're actually right there, present with someone, even physically, they're, they're, they're in a completely different place somewhere halfway across the world. And with AR, you know, instead of you having your face in your phone and you know, someone else having their face in theirs, you know, now the computing environment is going to put digital objects in the real world. Uh, they're going to be able to both interact with and actually be present together. So two years ago at F8, uh, we talked about how the camera was going to be the first AR platform. And in the last year alone, uh, more than a billion people have used AR features on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Messenger, and Portal. And now, to make this into an even broader platform, uh, we're focused on making it easier to build for. So today, we're announcing that we're bringing the Spark AR Studio, uh, and we're supporting both Windows and Mac. <laughs> and we are also uh, going to open our AR beta for Instagram, so everyone is going to be able to build for it. Now, one of my favorite uses of AR so far, uh, I have to say, is on Portal. Now, if, um, if any of you have kids, uh, or you know, have seen kids using masks or story time on Portal, you probably know what I mean. Um, this, is, this is a photo of my mom uh, reading Three Little Pigs to my daughters. And Portal has turned her into a wolf as she's huffing and puffing. <laughs> so this is one of the reasons uh, that, that I think Portal has done better than we expected. Right? It, it helps people feel together and, and have these intimate experiences. Uh, even when you can't physically be together, you can feel like you're together. So building on this, uh, I'm excited to announce that we are going to launch Portal internationally. We're starting in Canada in June, and we're going to be rolling it out uh, across uh, a number of countries in Europe coming later this fall. <laughs> And as part of this, of course, it's really important that we bring WhatsApp to Portal. So we're doing that. So now you're going to be able to, to make video calls on both WhatsApp and Messenger on Portal. And you know what that means? That means that we are bringing end-to-end -end encryption to all video calls on Portal. So now you can be sure that when you're having conversations with your friends and family, everything stays between you. All right, now, the, the, the last area that I want to talk about today is virtual reality. Now, this is going to be a big year for VR, uh, because we are shipping two new products. Uh, Oculus Rift S, which improves on the original Rift, a higher resolution display, better optics, inside-out tracking. And of course, we're launching Oculus Quest, the all-in-one headset that we've all been waiting for with no cables and full freedom of movement. So, you know, these, these are a real step forward. Our Rift S is the most powerful VR headset uh, that you can buy. And Quest, Quest just blows people away because it's the first time that you can just walk around a VR space and fully interact with the people in it. So I'm excited to announce that we are opening pre-orders for both of them today. They're each going to be $3.99. They're going to start shipping within a month on May 21st. All right, so, okay, so, you know, that's, um, so that's how we're starting to build out this privacy-focused vision across everything we do. It's still early, uh, but if we get this right, then using all of these services is going to be a fundamentally different experience a few years from now. Now, at the end of the day, this isn't just about uh, building some new products. It's a major shift in how we run this company. Uh, because we believe that for the future, uh, people want a privacy-focused social platform. And I believe that if we build out a fully encrypted, interoperable service with all of the ways that people want to interact privately, then that's going to be a, an important contribution to the world. 
Now, for us, you know, this is about building the kind of future that we want to live in. I believe that we should be working to build a world where we can be ourselves and where we can live freely, knowing that, that our private moments are only going to be seen by the people we want. Or a world where, where everyone has the power to speak and say what they want and use their voice and connect to the people they care about, where we can come together around community and around commerce, where we build in the tools that we need to keep us safe from the beginning and, and prevent harm, and while where we, we then are able to focus on all the good that people are able to do, and not just the big moments or the social movements, the breakthroughs, but also all the everyday good the emotional support, the, the jokes with friends, the, the feeling of being together with your family, both in private and in public, the living room and our town squares. So if we work hard and, and deliver this vision that we've laid out today, then I'm going to be proud of the difference that we've made. So thank you all. I'm looking forward to doing this together, and have a great afternoon.